we all know in this country uh, we have enough uh, in our plate when it comes to political discontent, social disturbances, or for that matter, economical disparity. So what I'm going to say uh, right now, or talk about right now, may seem like none of my business. But then I must say that, you know, I'm not going to talk about just any country. I'm going to talk about the impending election of the most powerful country in the world. Therefore, it is but natural for the world to pay attention and show concern um, on how this U.S. election is going to unfold. Uh, after all, we're talking about a country that's known for not only being a bastion of democracy, uh, but also a nation that upholds rule of law and propagates uh, value of freedom and liberty uh, for all mankind in the world. Uh, now, of course, we all know that uh, the year 2020, at least in the living memories of the people alive, has been an unprecedented one. And, uh, and it has been a very... Uh, turbulent year, to, 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 to say the least, to all mankind and in, in, in all nations. Uh, and at the midst of a global crisis such as COVID-19, the world expects the most powerful country with great resources not only to act responsibly to its people, but be a beacon of hope to the entire world, you know. That's how the world sees and expects from America. Therefore, you know, the presidential candidate should be uh, uh, highly, I think, diligent on how they handle democracy and the process of election and, uh, and of course, must safeguard fabric of democracy and the hallmark of, of, of American democracy, especially, you know, after the election, is to facilitate uh, a peaceful transition of power. Uh, unfortunately, I must say that the American people have been hit hard, if not uh, the hardest, by this pandemic. You know, and, uh, and, and unfortunately, again, you know, during this uh, uh, time of, uh, of pandemic, the bar of leadership has fallen exponentially. And the U.S. summer, you know, of, of which we all, all are aware of, the civil unrest aggravated the situation, I think, even further. Uh, U.S., uh, I think, is probably the country of largest immigrant population um, who have uh, contributed immensely to the nation, uh, are proud, patriot uh, Americans who show allegiance to the flag uh, and the country. Uh, but the sad thing is that all these people uh, are now feeling more divided and discriminated than ever in recent times. Uh, therefore, you know, it would be unfortunate for America and uh, also to the world uh, to have a leader uh, who fans the flames of divisiveness, uh, you know, and U.S. and the world expects a leader who displays more responsibility at this time of crisis uh, and is a reassuring force. Uh, U.S. looks for a leader who has the capacity to see the truth, speak the truth, and act on truth. Uh, America needs a leader, I think, who can truly uh, unite the Americans for the greater truth instead of us uh, versus them. Uh, the spirit of we, the people, should be emboldened. Uh, in any given country, you know, it's, 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 it's never about the leader. 
it's about those the leaders serve. Uh, more so in democratic country like U.S., where people have incessantly fought for democracy. U.S.A. not only uh, can't afford, but uh, would be a travesty to its history if it gets a leader that undermines the very foundation of American politics, that is, democracy. Therefore, you know, America needs a, a leader who truly represents the spirit of the nation and should strive hard, uh, the ever-challenging issue, uh, uh, to unite the people who truly represent Americans of all ethnicity, color, creed, and race, all of whom take pride in being an American. Uh, America, I think, needs a leader uh, who is not aggressive, who doesn't take a belligerent stance, a uh, leader who is not arrogant, uh, but a leader who displays uh, high moral values, has humility, shows uh, empathy, and, uh, and is compassionate. And, and these are the very component of a, of a strong leader anyway. So America deserves a stable, strong leader. Uh, Therefore, this time around, you know, the American people do have the power uh, to turn the table around. So utilize your power. Make best use of your rights to vote. Uh, so America, my request is go out and vote the candidate that fits the bill world is watching. Good night.